Well, here I am on the roof again with yet another camera. <laughs> yeah, let's see here, I don't know. Sounds like they just had full totality in Oregon. And uh, and just like that, full, to full totality <laughs> went, went like it didn't even last like two minutes. <laughs> Which is kind of, you know, I mean, whatever, it's kind of a letdown, you know, it seems like, you know, uh, it seems like it should last a little bit longer, but it doesn't. These uh, heavenly bodies, these gods up here, they move pretty quick. They, you know, they, they don't mess around. And it looks to me like the moon, from this little tiny glimpse that I can catch through this little tiny hole, is moved over to the, now to the left side of the sun from this perspective. Yeah, sure has. Yeah, it's far over to the left. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not, or I don't even know if I'm aimed at it because I don't have a, a, uh, you know, a, a monitor on this camera. I don't have a lens, but I wanna say something real quick. Shepard Smith on Fox or CNN, whatever, whatever channel he's on, that guy, He's a real fucking douchebag. You know, I was just, I, you know, I just had that channel on. You know, I was just downstairs in the house, you know, doing some miscellaneous things real quick, taking care of some business. And uh, so, you know, I, I have the, uh, the TV on down there and whatever channel that was, Fox or CNN or whatever, just what the hell, right? And that guy, there, you know, he's got a, they got their reporter out there on site. Uh, you know, up there in Oregon or somewhere, you know, where they're in the path of full totality and they're covering the story and there's a bunch of people out there. And they're having a good old time. You know, they're out there with their sunglasses, their special glasses. And, you know, they're out there just having fun. You know, they're having fun. And there's, you know, I mean, average people out there who, who like to have fun and like to joke around and like to laugh and like to enjoy life, actually. It's funny, like, <laughs> that there's people that actually enjoy life. You know, and how do they do that? Well, they do that by laughing, things of that nature. You know, not taking things too seriously, kidding around, playing around, wouldn't they? So this guy is on site. And you got a group of individuals out there with their glasses on. And they're all out there, like, having fun, making a joke of it, right? And they got their, they, they, got, they all got their heads wrapped in tin foil, right? Aluminum foil, whatever. And it's just funny to them. I guess, you know, they're having fun with it, you know, plus they're on TV, so why not, why not have fun with it, so you got the guy out there, and he, and actually the guy who was reporting on site was having fun too, you know, he was joking around with them, you know, like, not, this guy Shepard Smith there, like, pulling wisecracks on them, but he's not only pulling wisecracks on them, he's like pulling wisecracks on the whole event, like, a solar eclipse doesn't happen that often. You know, I mean, you know, depending on where you live, well, I mean, not depending on where you live, it doesn't happen that often. If you live someplace and you pretty much live there you know, the majority of your life, you don't get to see one. <laughs> like, you get to see one maybe once in a lifetime. If you travel or if you're an astronomer, you get to go out and you get to witness some quite a bit. You know, you get paid to go do that kind of stuff. But if you're just Joe Schmo, you know, General John Q. Public, you know, you're not going to go see one very often. You're not going to see many more than one, maybe twice in your lifetime. And that guy Shepard Smith, he's cracking like, ooh, look, and he and he's like in there, and he's got like, he takes a computer mouse, and then he takes his iPhone, and he puts his iPhone at a distance, and puts the mouth the mouse in between his eye and the iPhone, and goes, ooh, look it, my iPhone's eclipsed, I can't see it from here, and and like, he was doing it derogatorily, he was doing it like it was a fucking joke, and then he's like looking at pictures. You know, he's covering it, he's in the studio covering, you know, the the monitors, right? He's got a monitor from one site, he's got one from NASA, and they they both got kind of the same view on it. Wow, look at the sun, it's yellow on this one, and it's pink on this one, wow. Oh boy, it's the sun. Oh, wow, and there's something, the moon's going between the sun, oh my gosh. Like, like he, he was like being a douchebag, like cracking... You know, like, you know, shitty jokes, 
you know, like 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 clowning people for for wanting to see this, right? Like he was clowning on people. You know? I remember when I was a kid, I was uh fourth grade, fifth grade, something like that, and uh and uh we had a field trip and it was a big field trip, you know, we we were gone for about a week. We went up to uh to the Sierras where the Donner Party, you know, the story of the Donner Party took place. And I remember I was pretty young and I, I'd never been up to the mountains before, you know, I lived in the flats down here, sea level, kind of my, you know, I mean, <laughs> my whole life, right? I was in fourth grade, right? And I'd never been up to the snow or anything. I'd never seen snow. I remember uh, we were on the train. We took the train to get up there, you know, we took a bus and we took the train and we had buses up there to meet us. And it was fun. And I remember we were on the train and we got up, you know, to uh, to a certain elevation and all of a sudden snow started. We start, you know, we started seeing snow still stuck on the ground. And I'd never seen snow before. And I, wow, look at that. Man, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that, everybody. Look at that snow, snow, snow. And most of my friends were all kind of well-to-do kids, you know, from, from families that, you know, had, you know, took their kids to the snow a lot, you know, and went snow skiing and things like that. And they were like, dude chill out it's just snow and I was like I'd never seen it before I was excited and I felt like a total fucking like asshole <laughs> like oh I was embarrassed like I felt horrible like I was like man gosh I'm sorry <laughs> you know or whatever and I remember one friend of mine there one one friend of mine his name's Russ I think it was Russ my buddy Russ I still know him not very, you know, I don't see him very much, but I still know him. And uh, he, he was the one, he, he, the only kid who stuck up for me. He's like, dude, guys, he's never seen snow before. You know? I remember that. I remember it really, I remember it was like yesterday. It was like, man, <laughs> he was the only one who kind of like stuck up and was like, you know, he's never, he's never seen it before. Fuck, you know? And it's like that, you know, this fucking guy, this fucking douchebag, Shepard Smith, is there acting like that. You know, people have never seen a solar eclipse before, and he's acting like, you have big fucking deal. Why are you guys so excited? It's nothing. It's just the fucking sun being covered by, you know, like, what a fucking scumbag. Guys like that, I would have no problem wringing their fucking neck. I would have no problem beating them till they're a bloody pulp on the floor, you know? And I'm just not that way. I'm not like that, but, but you know, it's kind of like, you know, my buddy Russ, he stuck up for me. I, you know, that's the way I am. I'm like, I, I stick up for people, right? I would beat that fucking Shepard Smith to a buddy fucking pulp on the floor, Shepard Smith, you fucking punk. I hope, I hope to God you fucking hear me. And you can come see me. I'm in Mountain View, California, 94040. You come see me. You call me when you're here. I'm gonna. I'll beat you till you're a bloody fucking pulp. You hear me? <sighs> Boy, that makes me hot. I've seen a solar eclipse before, and it's it's a neat thing. It is. I mean, you know, it's a neat thing. You don't get to see it that often. I mean, you're talking about you know, <laughs> the heavens. You know, however you want to say it, outer space. You're talking about planetary bodies. You know, doing their thing. And that's, you know, that's a big fucking deal, you little bastard. You little punk. The fact that you don't take it as a big deal shows who you are, shows your character. You know? I'll beat you till you're a little freaking pulp, man. Anyhow. Everybody else? Have a blessed day. Have a good day. Have a, have a great day. Love y'all.